out here at um, uh, the Cache Creek Niche Preserve and what we're really looking at right behind over my shoulder is an example of a California prairie or a grassland. It's made up primarily of grasses. Now those other trees like oaks in the background are just uh, really aren't uh, part of this. Um, as we look over here to, to, the, um, to the west, there's quite a bit more of this. But it's all grass, grasses, native grasses. And what makes this particular grassland or prairie different is because the native grasses um, have really deep root systems. And that allows them not only to get water, but also to basically hide from this fire ecology that these grasslands in California have adapted over uh, um, many thousands of years. One of the things you'll notice uh, about this, it's right now it's all, it looks dead. Well, it's really not dead, it's, it's dormant right now. It's one of the strategies that these particular plants have evolved over time is the fact that when it gets hot, because California is really, really dry in, in the summertime, it tends to get really hot. And instead of trying to, to get a lot of water out of the ground and try to um, use a lot of energy, these plants have just had a strategy of dormancy. So even though it looks dead, it really isn't dead. Beneath the ground, it's very much alive. As a matter of fact, a few years ago in this very place, there was a substantial fire. And the fire went through really, really fast. It was really hot. And what it did is two things. First of all, it killed all of the uh, uh, annual plants, all the invasive species. And then what happened is in the fall, when the rains came, this came back extremely fast. Within three or four days, it was sending up shoots, and it was lush, it was green. So in the summertime, our grasslands here are very different. They're dry, and of course, they, they've still got a lot of feed value in it. And, and that's what used to happen here, is it used to support huge numbers of elk, in particular, tule elk, and pronghorn antelope. And this is a great hunting field for birds of prey, the raptors. We have all different kinds of eagles and hawks here. And depending on where you are in California, you'll maybe see golden eagles, you'll see red tail hawks, you'll see Swanson's hawks, a variety of different kinds of species of birds of prey. Also, there's lots of different kinds of rodents. We have all different kinds of mice and voles and gophers and uh, squirrels. And of course, they're fed on by the birds of prey. But also, the other thing that's great about this particular area, it, it serves uh, basically for a, a, a tremendous laboratory for all different plant diversity. Not only is it grasses, but also in the springtime, if you've ever seen some of the valleys in California, you, you'll notice that all different kinds of flowers, like this one right here. Uh, some of you'll notice that as yarrow. This is a dried sample. And all different kinds of grasses, like our state grass, purple needle grass. Uh, also, we have... Um, in a little bit wetter years, we'll have things like meadow barley, like this. And then here we have one of the species uh, that uh, used to cover quite a bit of the floor of the valley. And this uh, is uh, called creeping wild rye. So we have different kinds of grasses. We have different kinds of rodents. We have a diversity of birds of prey. This particular uh, ecosystem, this particular biome is really critical. Uh, to the, the wildlife here in California. This serves as a corridor or hallway from basically one biome to another, like that oak woodland behind me. And we're going to be taking a look at that as, as well today.